Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how the work of Gregor Mendel led to our understanding of genetics. You should then be able to explain why the importance of Mendel's discovery was not recognised until after his death. And this is for triple biology students only. In previous videos we've looked at genes and alleles. Remember that genes are sections of DNA on a chromosome and each gene determines the amino acid sequence of a specific protein. Alleles are different versions of a gene. As we saw, alleles can be dominant, for example the allele for polydactyly, or recessive, for example the allele for cystic fibrosis. Now a large amount of our understanding of genetics came from the monk Gregor Mendel, and I'm showing you a picture of Mendel here. In the middle of the 1800s, Mendel carried out thousands of breeding experiments on pea plants. Now at the time, scientists did not understand how inheritance worked. Many scientists believed that characteristics were blended when they were inherited. Mendel looked at lots of different characteristics in pea plants, for example the shape of the pod or the colour of the flowers. From his experiments, Mendel realised that characteristics are not blended during inheritance. For example, the shape of a pea pod has no effect at all on the colour of the flowers. Mendel said that characteristics are determined by inherited units, and that these units do not change when passed on to descendants. We now call these units genes. Mendel also showed that some characteristics could be masked and then reappear in later generations. We now call these recessive alleles. For example, the allele for white pea flowers is recessive, and the allele for purple pea flowers is dominant. Mendel published his research in a scientific paper. However, many scientists still held on to the idea that characteristics are blended when they're inherited. They did not understand that Mendel had made a major discovery, and soon Mendel's work was forgotten. In the late 1800s, scientists looked at how chromosomes behave during cell division. Around the same time, scientists rediscovered Mendel's work on genetics, and by the early 1900s, they realised that Mendel's units behaved in a similar way to chromosomes. By this time, Mendel's units had been renamed genes, and scientists realised that genes must be located on chromosomes. In the mid 1900s, scientists determined the structure of DNA and how genes function, and we've looked at both of these in a previous video. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on Mendel and genetics in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.